name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Today we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. No one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore, take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given. And whoever does not have, even what he seems to have will be taken from him. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. In this passage, we have this uh, teaching, another parable of light that must be revealed. And, and the Lord says, you know, no one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather we put it on a lampstand that it may provide light for all in the house. In his humility and in his love for us, he says to us in, in Matthew that we are the light of the world and that we have to so let our light shine that people may praise our Father in heaven. But just as the moon cannot produce light on its own, so we also cannot be light on our own. In fact, the moon is the perfect example. The moon cannot boast of its own light in the darkness. It cannot say, hey, I am so amazing. Look at how bright I am. Look at how many you know, paths I'm lighting in the middle of the darkness for humans on earth. But rather the moon knows that its only source of light is from the sun. And same with us. If we actually you know, truly believed that all good things, that all light in us as humans can only come from God, then we would not be afraid to shine. Rather, we sometimes in our pride, in our arrogance, think that we have some sort of light of our own to provide. The reality is that every single cell in our body, every single part of us is alive because of him and every good thing every light comes from christ the son of righteousness the one who shines and all we have to do is reflect now just as the moon has different stages and the moon uh, you know um, uh, can have the earth or the world get in between the sun and the moon and so little by little, the moon actually loses its ability to shine. And we too, when we allow the world and the cares of this world and, 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 and the way of the world to get between us and our source of light, which is Christ, we also can become darkened. We also can become just a sliver of light. We can completely be extinguished. The key is this. We must know the source of light and we must not let anything come between us and the source of light. And when we recognize in all humility, in all simplicity, that we are just reflecting the light of God, then we can shine brightly. We could allow His righteousness in us to shine so that the world may know that our God is the light of the world and that we can shine light all around us. In fact, the kingdom of heaven and, and judgment day is nothing but the light of Christ shining on all of us. And so when the light of Christ shines on us, you know, in truth, we see where we fall short. Now, those who have their hope in Christ, who constantly are seeking for His mercy, in this life, they are asking the Lord and saying, Lord, show us how we have sinned. Lord, reveal to us our iniquity that we may repent. Let us know how we fall short. And so they, they stand in the light of Christ more and more every day. And the more that these saints stand in the light of Christ, the more they see their imperfections, the more they repent, the more they long for more and more completeness. And the more that they do that, the more they shine the more they glow whereas when we want to live 
in the delusion of the ego where we want to be the center and we want to be good on our own. What do we do? We live in darkness. We hope that no one sees our shortcomings. We hope that God doesn't see our shortcomings. We entertain in order to forget our own sinfulness. Whereas when we allow the light of Christ, nothing will be hidden. And our judgment day can be today for us. We can bask in His light, see our state, call out for mercy, and receive that mercy in this life. And, and when judgment day comes, we will not be shocked or surprised, for we will know how we have fallen short, and we will have already sought out healing from Him. And so we will shine with Him, because we have already been in His light. And so today, probably the most powerful prayer we can pray is to ask the Lord to, to let His light shine on us, to reveal to us who we really are, to reveal our shortcomings that we may repent and, and return to Him. Not just to reveal His light in our lives, but also that we may see the world around us as it really is. Let your light so shine before men that they may glorify your Father in heaven. And so our purpose, our day may be filled with light so that the world may know that our God is the source of this light. Have a beautiful day.